the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night end. practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Chell Sada! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon League! Herb Dean, our referee for this Great. one. Great. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. All right, the wrestler having little trouble engaging here in the clinch, and as you well know, he's got a lot of trips and takedowns from this very position. Well, he manipulates you. He manipulates you from the underhook. It's the underhook that starts to move you forward, backwards. He's tripping. He's foot sweeping you. He has so many different ways to get you to the ground that you can never really feel comfortable from this clinch position. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight. My goodness, what a fight. Sonnen's back inside control. Oh! He did a great job of reversing the position, using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get back up. Oh, strong punch there by Sonnen. Frantic pace early on to this one. Sonnen gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Well, how's that for executing the game plan? He told us he needed to get the early takedown, and he produces right out of the shoot. He got it done, man. Takedowns where he emphasis in camp, and he got it done. He has to be happy that it worked to perfection. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, huge 
left. Effective jab there by Chael. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Midway through round one. Takedown defense holds up. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice. Nicely done. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Nice combination by the champ. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Takedown defense is there. Big fight. Oh, nice combination. Two minutes to go. Just out of range with that right hand. He loaded up there on that high kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Big shot lands. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Fighters separate from the clinch. Pretty good straight punch there by Lee. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack his arm triangle. Look at that, it's tight. It looks like the arm triangle's getting very close. Now he's got to get off to the side, drop his chest to the mat, and get the finish. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Oh, right into Mount. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of Mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Final seconds here. He's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Round two next. Okay, you're gonna go right back out there and do it again. Change levels, shoot that single, go right through him, and just stay in top half and ground and pound. Just stay on top. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready, taken fight. down back to the mat again. Round two underway. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really, every time he entered. Yeah. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Now, let me Lands a big elbow there. Huge left hand. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early. 
in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. He worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and he's showing right now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Both guys appeared to land there. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Ooh, what a punch. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Number three to go round two. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Pop your hips. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Summons right back to the full mount, making all these shots count. Yep, got to be very careful there. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so like clean that his head is starting off the mat. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Chael. Well, he has got to be. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Chael's now dealing with a cheat cut. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, a nice elbow. Big double leg, level chance. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Sun and Zai is closing up. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get My to, God. especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Chael's back in full mount. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Huh. I mean, how about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does... He can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive Ready. instead of reactive yeah. in terms of his defense. Round three of a possible five. Well, missed on that one. 
Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Missed with that attempt. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice straight punch there by Sonnen. Takedown defense holds up. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems to bother by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. That's right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Gotta be careful here. All right, side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that's getting deep. Good job by the champ there. He's right back up. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Look at the redness on his body, man. Separation. Oh! He's hurting bad here. Oh, great block there. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Stuff the takedown, no problem. He's so committed to body punching. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Shail Sonnen gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Under a minute to go. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happens. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Lee's eye starting to swell now. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Chael. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a seat. All right. No big
big deal. You got a little cut. It's not going to affect us at all. Do not worry about it. I need you to take a deep breath, get out there, and get back. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested. Dig right? deep, deep, lean on the hook. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful kick lands there. Oh, a nice straight there by Lee. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Keep that pressure high now. Oh, good lead left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Shale's in half -way. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Use your elbows, use your elbows. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, well, I mean, this is, this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Sonnen's in half goal. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grapple exchange. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Nice. Nicely done. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Now they separate. Active here in the clinch, and he lands a big shot to the head. Great time on that double leg. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Chael. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Ground and pound, the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Under a minute to go in round four. Shales right back to the full mount here.
Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you got to think this is going to start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's going to start to get desperate. He's going to start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Lee. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. This is a terrible position. Well, eventually he's going to try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well here to avoid damage. Oh, you don't oh. want to be comfortable on your back. But when you're taken down, you got to make sure you're active. And that's exactly what he's doing. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is Where's going to sting, and the bleeding right. will then yeah. cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. There's that kick. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Combinations here. Takedown defense is there. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Flips the punch nicely there. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, double leg lands. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. He's got to be careful here. Back to his feet. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. That was a nice strike. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? He's got that single collar tie. Volume hook shots to the body here as he continues to work out of the clutch. He's doing a really good job of digging into the body every time he comes in close. I really love the way that he's staying the course. He's really following the game plan of get to the body if he was going to win this fight. He's trying to make that eye swell shut, DC. Clearly, he has put a focus on targeting that area, which is already damaged on his opponent. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself the chance to try to find your shot. Simon's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You've got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice knee landed there by Lee. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Head kick partially blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot was what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice leg kick. Hook in the clinch there by Lee. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. you got to be careful here. you got to move. Shale's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble.
That kick lands. Let me see that hook now. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Less than a minute now to go in the round. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Big time arm triangle situation here. He's very close to finding the finish, but he's got to take his time if he doesn't want to lose the position. Oh, look at the fight here. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so there it is, the final horn, a lifetime of work, all building to this moment, and the underdog challenger comes up large with his striking game tonight. He's going to be the new champ. I mean, he came up big in a massive spot. He was the underdog. He wasn't supposed to get this done. He relied on what got him here, the striking, to take the title from the long-reigning champion. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49-46. We played the winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.